All right, so before we actually make our recipe screen and we're on the topic of making uh, HMI screens, we're gonna go ahead and make our uh, alarm screen real quick because it doesn't take long to do so. And we're gonna be using some similar to what we did in the header, right? So what we did in the header, we, we had an alarm summary, except this screen is gonna be a complete alarm summary. Okay, so this is gonna be a new screen. We're just gonna make the new screen. We're gonna basically size it the same as the other screen because we're just gonna use defaults. So, and then we'll come in here and then we're gonna get a alarm summary. So we're gonna go into our alarms, alarms and events, and we're gonna get alarm summary. And we're gonna basically make it as big as the screen. So we're just gonna have it as big as the screen. And then get it kind of close. It's close enough and then we're going to make a couple different things now in here this is the cool thing about this is you can leave this as default you don't necessarily need to change too much in here um, now I would change one factor of the icons I would change this to like a large so that you can kind of see that stuff and here's what's going to happen you'll see see how small these icons are now when I change this to large right from small to large and I hit apply you see how big those get? So that's a, a good uh, size advantage. When somebody's actually trying to push this, a lot of times the touch screen is, uh, again, we don't always have a mouse available. So sometimes it's a touch screen. And you want to have the availability to, for somebody's fingers to be able to put, touch one of these things, right? So it's very uh, efficient to actually change the icon size, right? So change it to a large icon size. And that's just about all you have to do on this first screen. Now, uh, on the next time, what it did now this the column area really depends on what you want to see okay so now I will say you can leave this default but again it's just going to show these common things up here this is what you're showing you're showing the alarm on the event time the alarm name which is right here and a couple other things so just uh, just keep that in mind and then the toolbar uh, we'll kind of keep that as default as well so this is the the really good thing about this is you don't have to really kind of edit this stuff is you can just come in here and throw this in there we're not going to get real specific with this and we're not even going to call out um, event subscriptions because or even uh, the display filters because this is going to be all the AMDs ALMDs and a um, ALMAs throughout the whole application so if you have an ALMD is an a a digital alarm so it's an alarm in a digital form and an ALMA is an alarm in an analog form. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind. And we haven't really talked about you know that the ALMDs and the ALMR, um, ALMAs yet, but we will we will get to those. But well, first we want to build the screen so that when we actually go through and and have you know use this stuff, we, it's currently fluent and it you can see how it's pulling in. Now, contrary to what we did, so all we're going to do here is is uh, hit it. You know, basically, uh, okay. And then we're going to come over here, and I want to kind of pull up the header bar. So contrary to what we did over here, is we we kind of came over here and said, well, we want to make this as small as possible. We don't want to have all the the you know things showing as far as the icons. We don't have anything. So we highly customized this one because that's in our header. That's going to show one alarm and one alarm only, right? Now this one is going to show all the alarms that will be current in the whole application. Now, if you were to choose to use a filter, then there would be filters up here. Now, again, filters do apply right here. If you were to come in here and you could choose a filter, if you want to add a filter, again, this is where you would add a filter right here. So you would add a filter name, you would name the class, instance, and all this. I mean, you can get very, very, very technical with that. But we're going to cancel that out because we're going to keep it as very kind of simple so that you can easily step into it and understand how an ALMD works, right? Because again, when it comes down to it, using these alarms uh, and alarm summaries and event summaries, this is very much, uh, I mean, it just all, it automatically pulls the data when you're using an AL, ALMD instruction, it automatically pulls the data from it or an ALMA instruction, right? So just keep that in mind. So uh, this is why I wanted to make this screen real quick. So we'll save this screen. Now we're going to name this alarms. We'll just name it alarms for that matter and just go ahead and put that in there. Now we have our alarms in here. So what we want to do now is actually add this in our footer. So we don't really have anything in our footer, but we will 
now. So let's go ahead and add a couple buttons in here. And we're going to just draw these buttons out. So we'll just draw this button out. Just right like this. And then we'll have the action as a call to display. And then we're going to call a graphic. And we're going to go to navigation. And then display. Hit next. And this will be where we're going to call in whichever what we want. This first one is going to be batch controls. Because once we get off of the batch controls, we want to be able to come back to it, right? So this is where this comes in place. Real simple. And then we're going to call this batch controls. So we'll call this batch controls. And we'll put that in there just like that. Now we can make this bold so that you see that. And we can also up the size a little bit so that it's easier to see. So then again, so we're not going to use anything in the down appearance, just the up appearance. It's perfectly fine. So that's that's really, really, really simple. Now to keep this the same format as what we'll do is we'll control C and control V and we'll make a second one. And then what I like to do is again, as you've seen before, use my common tool up here where I can align them perfectly. Come over here, I'm going to change the name. This will be alarms. And then I'll change the display. Come over here to display. We'll go to display again. Come over here. And then we're going to go to displays. We're going to click the alarms. And we'll do that. Now that's going to show that. So now we have our calls to action. So these are calls to action to go to indicate which screen we're going to, right? So now if we come in here, we can close this out and we were to run our client, we can actually see that this will actually indicate between the two screens now. So let's actually start our client. So we're going to start both the, the client files so that you can actually see how easy and simple this was to actually implement and make this ALMD work in our system, right? So the ALMDs and ALMA instructions will work with the alarm summary in Factory Talk Studio Site Edition. So this is the best way to do alarming. This is the best way to capture the stuff. You can do it a completely different way if you wanted to. Again, I've seen like four or five different ways you can do alarms in Factory Talk uh, SE. But again, when it comes down to it, the alarms and event summary is the most popular, most efficient one that is used. There are a couple different versions that don't work really well. Like I think version 30 doesn't support uh, alarms and event or ALMDs. But again, when it comes down to it, that was the only version that did not. So we're starting our client and it should be popping up now. We have our bottom footer, which is our uh, batch control. And if we want to go right here, we can see that we have our alarms. Now we need to actually get this uh, properly done. So you'll see this. So let's go back into our uh, HMI application and we'll open up our alarms and we'll make sure we get the screen the right size. So we'll come down here, get inside of the screen and we want to make sure we actually replace and then we, let's say system menu, we want to take that off just like we did the same exact thing, uh, size. We want to size to main menu. So, and then allow uh, rescaling, that's perfectly fine. And then let's close this back up. So this is where you can, again, size your application or size the screen to fit, right? And again, we'll save it. So now we'll come back to our application. This is the good thing about Factory Talk SE Site Edition is now we can come back and call the screen and now the screen will be completely there. Now you see this, the font's kind of small. So we can change the font size too. And this is another cool thing about this. You can come here and change the font size if you want so that it's easier to see this stuff. Right, so this is the column. So you think about this, this is the column header. So if we wanted to, we can come over here and change this font. And let's change the font. We can do the column and the rows and we can change everything. But matter of fact, um, this is the font right here. Let's for this. This is the toolbar font. So let's change the fonts. I believe it's right here. Let's try these. Um, let's go to 12 and let's put this as 12 as well. And then apply and that 
does clear that up so and this is why I wanted to do this so this now we can come back here and change this we can actually see the way this change so you see that now we want to actually get it to where you can see it fluently like an operator can see it easily so this looks pretty good and then make sure our alarms are legible so again now we'll save our screen come back here go back to our batch controls come back here and now you can see that this is a, a lot bigger so this is to me this is a lot better right so you can actually see this and we still want to get rid of this alarm bar up here so we still want to make this a flat screen so let's go back one more time and edit that right so again and I apologize for that all we're gonna do is take and remove our title bar if you remember if you have the title bar then it does come up and I want to show you what I'm talking about this title bar up here see this is like a, a windows header if you would we're gonna get rid of that so I want to go back to here now I notice I changed it but I didn't save it now I'm gonna save it then I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna call the screen again and now it comes in exactly like it should without the top header not the windows kind of feel look and feel right so it, it, it gives a nice you know warm HMI feel to it right and that's the way you kind of like want you, you really want to have it and it down here too you can have uh, there's messages and stuff you can change the fonts down here as well this really all depends on how you want it so this comes down and you can change the the fonts as far as this goes like down here you can change this as well change this to like 10 and that changes the fonts down here so the the goal here is to have it whatever the size you want to have on your screen is that's what you really want right so you can change the font sizes on all of this stuff and really customize it to look and feel how you want to but now our alarm summary is tied into our actual alarms and events now we don't have any alarms and events we don't have any ALMDs in our system yet but we are going to go ahead and add those coming in in the next couple videos so I just want to make sure we have the screen there so I'm going to shut down the client real quick and now that we've done that we've actually added that we've added our alarm screen we're going to come down here and uh, make sure we have our footer our footers in there we so now we can add more buttons if we add more screens to this application and that way we can go back and forth so with that said we want to conclude this video and we'll see you guys on the next one